Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Comptia Network Plus series. In today's video, we will study the TCP and UDP ports. So let's get started with the question. Question number one in today's video is that which of the following port numbers is used by the Microsoft Structured Query Language or SQL Server? And the options are 1433, 1521, 3306 and 3389. And the correct option is 1433. So this is the port that is used by the SQL Server. Question number two is that the SQL net runs on, on port number and the options are 587, 993, 1433 and 1521. And the correct option is 1521. Question number three is that which of the following answer refers to a port number assigned to the MySQL database system? And again, the options are 1433, 1521, 3306, and 3389. And the correct option is 3306. So the MySQL database runs on 3306. The question number four is that which port enables the FTP's data connection for sending? File data. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And the options are UDP port 20, TCP port 20, UDP port 21, and TCP port 21. And the correct option is TCP port 20. So remember that the TC uh, for FTP, the client makes two connection with the server. One is for data and the second connection is for the control. So the uh, data uses the port number 20 and this is TCP. TCP port number 20 is used for data connection. Question number 5 is that the FTP's control connection for administering a session is established through and the options are again TCP port 20, UDP port 20, TCP port 21 and UDP port 21 and the correct option is TCP port 21. So we saw that TCP port 20 is used for data connection. And TCP port 21 is used for control connection. The so question number 6 is that the SSH or secure shell protocol runs R and the port option R TCP port 21, UDP port 22, TCP port 20 and TCP port 22. And the correct option is 22. So SSH uses TCP port 22. Question number 7 is that the secure file transfer or SFTP is an extension to the secure shell protocol and runs by default on port 22. And we have two options that are the true or false. And the correct option is yes, true. So the SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol, this also uses port number 22, just like the SSH. Question number 8 is that unblocking port number 22 enables what type of traffic? And we have to select two answers and the options are FTPS, SSH, SFTP, FTP and HTTP and the correct options are as we already studied that the SSH uses port number TCP port number 22 so SSH is the one option and we already uh, again we studied that SFTP also uses port number 22 
22 that is TCP so by allowing this port we will be able to use these two application question number 9 is that which of TCP ports listed below is used by the telnet so telnet is the unsecure version of SSH SSH is secure while the telnet uses unencrypted or plain text data over the network and the options are port number 20, 21, 22 or 23 and the correct option is 23 SSH uses 22 while the telnet it uses the port number 23 question number 10 is that TCP port 25 is used by and the options are SNMP Simple Network Management Protocol, Telnet, FTP or SMTP. FTP is File Transfer Protocol while SMTP is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And the correct option is SMTP. So the SMTP uses port number 25. TCP port number 25. Question number 11 is that which of the following ports is assigned to the domain name system DNS and the options are 53, 67, 110 or 389 and the correct option is 53. So the DNS uses port number 53. Question number 12 is that the dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP runs on and we have to select two correct answers and the options are UDP port 53, UDP port 67, UDP port 68, UDP port 69 and UDP port 161. And the correct options are UDP port 67 and UDP port 68 and both of these ports are in UDP. So 67 and 68, these are the ports used by DHCP protocol. Question number 13 is that the UDP port 69 is assigned to and the options are TFTP, SNMP, DHCP or LDAP and the correct option is TFTP. Question number 14 is that the TCP port 80 is a very popular port is assigned to and the options are Hypertext Transfer Protocol HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol or TLS or SSL that is the secure version of HTTP, HTTPS. Option 3 is Internet Message Access Protocol IMAP and the last option is Lightweight Directory Access Protocol LDAP. And the correct option is, yes, the HTTP, it uses the port number 80, while the HTTP is secure version of HTTP, this uses port number 443. So question number 15 is that the post office protocol version 3 or POP3 uses port and the options are TCP port 110, UDP port 123, TCP port 143 or UDP port 161 and the correct option is TCP port 110. So the question number 16 is that the network time protocol or NTP runs are on UDP port number and the options are 123, 110, 161 and 137 and the correct option is 123. Question number 17 is that which of the TCP port number listed below is assigned to the Internet Message Access Protocol or IMAP and the options are 143, 389, 443 and 636 and the correct option is 143. Question number 18 is that an SNMP management station receives SNMP notification from agents on UDP port and the options are 161, 137, 162 and 138 and the correct option is 
Question number 19 is that SNMP agent receives request on UDP port and the option is option correct option is 161. So if we draw the diagram, let's suppose here we have a device, let's suppose a network switch, and this has an let's suppose SNMP agent, and here we have let's suppose SNMP management system or NMS system so this uh, this is typically a server that has the SNMP or NMS this is NMS network management system and this is a server let's suppose this is a server so this agent receive request on port number 161 while it sends the reply to the server on port number 162. Question number 20 is that TCP port 389 is the default network port for and the options are RDP, LDAP, SMB and LDAPS. And the correct option is LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. Question number 21 is that which of the following ports is used by HTTPS and the options are we already studied this TCP port 80, TCP port 443, UDP port 53 or TCP port 143 and the correct option is yes TCP port 443 while well, this is the H port 80 is used for the unsecure version of HTTP that is HTTP. Question number 22 is that which of the following protocols run on TCP port 445 and the options are HTTPS, SM, SMB slash SIPS, IMAP or H.323 and the correct option is SMB slash SIPS. Question number 23 is that which of the following ports is used by Syslog? Syslog is used by servers or network device to send log to the host or to the centralized or to the let's suppose host or to scene scene solution scene stands for security incident and event manager or management in the option are 445 514 587 and 636 and the correct option is 514 so this is a port used by syslog and this port is normally the udp port question number 24 is that which of the following ports listed below are assigned to the session initiation protocol or sip protocol we have to select two answers and the correct answers are tcp port 5060 and tcp port 50 Six one. So that's all for today. I hope you have learned something from today's video. If you you have you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.